Welcome, um, Aries. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. So, Aries, so what's happening for this week? Some sort of a secrecy is coming out. Aries, heartbreak and uncertainty. So, heartbreak, uncertainty, and some sort of a secret is out. And um, um, you are now uncertain of what the future have in hold for you, fire sign people. So a whole lot of you fire sign people, whatever that was transpiring, heartbreaks is here. Um, some sort of a secret, heartbreaks over some sort of an information, heartbreaks over some sort of a secrecy, and uh, some sort of an uncertainty. And uh, um, it has to do with um, a scorpion. Some of you have some sort of an uncertainty about a scorpion. I see secrets about money is going to be coming out here, so you are dealing with some sort of information, but whenever you see this Knight of Swords, it has to do with information coming at you, Aries. So we have the energy of the Four of Swords. Um, um, some of you need rest from a relationship um, or uh, end to your uh, marriage or um, your relationship. And I see some of you are depressed, heartbreaks, depressed with a contract, a marriage or a relationship and an end. Um, that is coming up. We see a tower moment for you, Aries, whatever is happening and transpiring. A tower moment is coming down and I see the energy of you hanging in, um, holding on. Um, you hope that an a marriage is not over or a contract is not over and you're really, really open um, for some sort of a resolution to a situation. A tall moment is coming down for a couple and uh, um, um, there is no end that is coming, but a tall moment is coming down where there is some sort of a problem that is going to be coming up for a couple. Then we see some sort of a depressiveness. Some of you are depressed. And hanging in limbo and uh, that end could be coming in or some sort of an information that some of you are going to be receiving. A lot of you are having relationship issues in this week. Uh, a lot of you are thinking about walking away um, from uh, some um, relationship that you are in. A lot of you are thinking about walking away. Heartbreaks is uh, coming up for you. A towel moment. Um is a common in um and uh, some sort of a conflicts that you Aries are going through um is bringing a lot of this um um a lot of uh, uh a lot of the dep depression conflicts with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and um I see um this creates some heartbreaks. So, a lot of you Aries are carrying a lot of burdens when it comes up to relationships. Some sort of an ending could be coming up in a relationship. I see some of you are hoping for some sort of a help to move forward. Um, regrets is here um, for a relationship. A lot of you are having some sort of a problem. Secret is now out. And uh, I see truth is coming in about what was happening and what was transpiring. And I see they come down on some of you Aries for some sort of a deceptive uh, play that was created. So, um, I, um, whoever the stars were, where Capricorn is because they're not showing up themselves. Sometimes you see these people and sometimes they're not showing up themselves. So that means... A lot of you Aries are dealing with uh, um, these Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn women. Um, is it your mother? Is it uh, friends? But I see conflicts. Uh, it's coming up for some of you with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. Is this a friend? Is this a sister? Um, but uh, some sort of a conflict, some sort of a um, information is coming out, some sort of a secrecy. And this is a transpiring. A lot of you are thinking about walking away from a marriage because you're heartbroken. There is too felt too much conflict. So if you recognize Aries, there's a lot of heartbreaks. Um, some of you are heartbroken because a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn stood their grounds. Um, if you notice this person stood their grounds 
And because this person stood their grounds, I see a lot of conflicts uh, that is happening and transpiring uh, because this person, whatever that was going on, this person stood their grounds and said, uh, it's not going on anymore. Um, I see you, um, Aries are depressed and is uh, hoping for some sort of a help to come in to release your burdens. Okay. A lot of you are hoping that a Taurus, a Cap Taurus Virgo or Capricorn will help you. Um, I don't know if this person is open to do that. If it's your mom, I see that it could be a tower moment between you and your mom. I see that a couple, a marriage couple, there's some sort of a regrets, some sort of a burdens um, a lot of you Aries are having with your marriage. And some sort of information is going to be coming in. Some sort of a secrecy from your partner is going to be coming in. And people are going to be aware of something about your partner. Um, the truth is coming out. I see a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn spoke their truth. And whatever information and secrecy you um, Aries have uh, done or old against a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, I see this person spoke their truth, bring down and a uh, um, bring down a tower moment on a conflict, uh, and has turned their backs on you. Um, debt is coming up. Uh, um, this is mere late transition transition because there was some sort of a. Um, deceptive play that was transpiring and they have caught you Aries um, some sort of a secrecy that you Aries had kept and they have caught you Aries um, and came down hard on you Aries because they recognize that you Aries have done something so if you notice uh, um, some of you Aries had connected uh, and some of you Aries you, you and your partner some sort of a secrecy is coming out about your husband or your long-term partner. And people are going to be um, realizing. You're now in limbo. Some of you are um, wondering uh, um, if it's a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn at spoke up and, um, you know, uh, uh, tell what was going on um, with your partner. A lot of you, but this person... Um, has turned their backs to you. A lot of you, this person, um, have no, um, interest in having any connection with you for whatever the reason is. Um, this person have turned their backs on you. This person have found out some sort of a secrecy and have turned their backs on you. So whoever the star is, Virgo or Capricorn is, they, um, directly speak up against some sort of a false play that was created and now um people are now recognizing um what some of you Aries have done to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and the secrets that you have kept and how you have worked against this person and I see this is coming to an end I see a lot of you regretted what you and other people together have uh, done to this lady um, and, and that is the, the, the thing. This lady has turned her backs on you and you went back together with your wife or your husband and tried to create some sort of a problem. And a tower moment came down on you, Aries, because they have recognized, um, that you, Aries, had some sort of a secret, some sort of a regretful situation and some sort of a secret. And they're coming down because they recognize the, uh, that there was some sort of a deceptive play. So secrets are coming out, Aries, and um, whatever the secret is and whatever is transpiring, heartbreaks and burdensome situation. Um, uh, um, twice the energy of heartbreaks is coming up for some of you, Aries, uh, um, in this week. Whatever that has happened and transpiring, I see people recognize uh, some sort of a secrecy that you, Aries, was holding on to and what you Aries have done to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn in the past they are now recognizing um what you Aries have done I see a whole lot of you Aries are depressed depressed um and it's affecting people personally it's a it's no one out there except that this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is bringing an end to a conflict that was going on and is standing their ground and showed up and revealed the secret as to what was happening and transpire. So, um, yeah, um, whatever you Aries had done or is doing, I see that uh, 
um, is as if someone is coming cry hard and is going to be um, um, picking up what has transpired. So I see um, what is here is that with the deceptiveness, peace is going to be coming in and people are going to be resolving whatever the issue you had created for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and changes is going to be coming in and it is as if you're you're not sure of uh, um what the future brings and uh, um some sort of a situation is coming out secrets about a whole lot of money is coming out and i see some sort of a relationship problems is going to be affecting a lot of you aries so aries um be aware of this um heartbreak some of you were hoping for some sort of a help from your family um but some sort of a secret is out um a taurus virgo or capricorn have a bring um an end to some horrible play that you have done and i see that you're hoping for some sort of a new start but uh, um some sort of a uh, um um sadness um you hope for some sort of a new start but um you're going to be recognizing that this new start is not coming in um because of some sort of a um dishonest game that was played in the past so um they recognized that there was some sort of a um um chaotic situation where um some corruption had created and they are going to be resolving the situation i see people in authority is going to be resolving the situation but i see changes is coming up for um you uh aries so whatever the conflicts is and was i see um, people are now recognizing what was happening. I see you're, um, you want a new start, but um, there's so much burdensome situation because of some sort of a secrets that has come out. So I got to go, Aries. Remember to show your likes by thumbs up. Namaste. Until next time. Welcome. Elias, this is your weekly reading. Weeks begin from the... The 25th until the 31st okay Leah's let's see what is going on so you come in this week uh, um, trying to find strength to deal with some sort of a health issue for some of you uh, some of you could be going through some sort of a health issue and you're coming in trying to balance out some sort of a health issue that has been happening and transpiring to you Leah's okay so, Leo's, Leo's, Leo's. So, as you come in this week, you're recognizing what is going on. We see some sort of a judgment call. Um, some of you, some sort of a judgment call on moving forward. Lies and deceptiveness, okay? Um, then we see um, the four of pentacles in the reverse. Uh, you're trying to balance out some situation and trying to rebuild your financial stability so some judgment call is coming down because they've recognized some sort of a deceptive play that was created and uh, the energy of the three of pentacles uh, some sort of an unbalanced situation with a group of people um, with your financial situation where a group of people try to create uh, some sort of an issue um, for some of you Leo so Justice is in reverse, so it's not looking good. Um, whatever that has been transpiring, people are now aware of uh, some sort of a uh, un um uh some sort of a uh, corrupt situation. Uh, this is really corrupt, uh, um, because justice is here to bring this corruption to to an end. So. You leave the a week basically um, happy that a situation is now over and the changes is going to be made. So there's a lot that is happening. Um, a lot of you could be dealing with legalities um, that is coming up that a lot of you, some sort of a legalities could be at play and people are now recognizing some sort of a... Um, um, this honest play that was that has transpired 
and they're now trying to rebalance uh, um, this situation so you can see the energy of judgment judgment is coming down um, so I see some sort of an overcoming of this moving forward the energy of the chariot um, and overcoming a Pisces cancer or a scorpion woman um, they recognize that this lady has collaborated with other people to create uh, um, some sort of an issue. I see information is coming down. You Leos are standing your grounds. So a whole lot of money that was paid out by this lady. And they're recognizing that uh, you could be connected to this person, whoever this person is. So what we're recognizing here is that some of you want to move forward. Um, some of you want to move forward um, with uh, a relationship. Um, and uh, um, some of you, there's a judgment call coming down on a cancer woman because they recognize something about this cancer woman and moving some money or accessing money that was not theirs. Um, they're recognizing um, some sort of a legal issue is here. People are finding out the lies of uh, um, young Aries Leo or Sagittarian and uh, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, they're recognizing the collaboration that these people had collaborated together just to scheme down on the lies. So um, what they're recognizing is that uh, a lot of you... Um, because you have um, twice the energy of uh, um, the Ten of Swords and twice the energy of the Ten of Swords. They're recognizing um, some sort of a dishonest play of a whole lot of money um, that has to do with an Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius, and a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, and as you recognize um, in the, um, the foundation of your reading, as you recognize, they recognize that a group of people had collaborated together. And I see that they're coming at this person. This person is a Capricorn person and is between the age of 18 and 45. And they're coming at this person because they recognize that this person took money and moved money that was not theirs. And now they're recognizing some sort of a play that this person have done. And I see this person is in some serious problem. And you, Leo, so they're recognizing and coming at you because they recognize that you have not been speaking the truth. So here we're seeing they're recognizing the deceptive play of you, Leo. So um, and it's only the Leos between the age of 18 and 45. How you have uh, um, communicate and collaborate with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, okay? Um, this person is a Capricorn. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. So they're recognizing um, that a Virgo got you, um, a Virgo that is an altar dealer, um, has been supporting you Leos for a very long time. And they're recognizing this. So the judgment call is coming out on people who are in some sort of a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. They're recognizing what was happening, what was transpiring. Um, they recognize that uh, a, a car dealer or someone who runs a car dealership was um, uh, sending money to and from a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. And they're recognizing a whole lot of money was sent to this Capricorn person. And this person is between the age of 18 and 45. When we look at the collaboration, so a lot of you, it's all about some sort of a, a car problem, car dealership problem, some sort of a, a communication, um, some sort of a contract with a call dealer is that they're, they're, they're coming down on this car dealer and this contract that was created because now they're recognizing that it was not um, an honest uh, 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 it was really not an honest contract. There was a, some sort of a lies and deceptiveness with this contract, okay? Then they're recognizing the collaboration. Um, they're definitely coming down in a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. 
because they are recognizing the connection that this lady had paid money or was paid money in order to create some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue. And people are now recognizing this. So if you notice the energy of collaboration is here double. So the three of pentacles is a uh, um the energy of collaboration. And there was some sort of a collaboration that was created. Um and some sort of a contract that was created with a car. And people are now recognizing this. A whole lot of you are dealing with auto dealership and uh, um problems, contracts, um, some sort of a contract, some sort of a problem um, with an auto dealership. And I see people are now in, in uh, getting to the bottom of it and recognizing that the contract was not based on uh, honesty because the name on the contract wasn't good. So um, they are saying, you need to cancel this contract because the name on the contract is not the person. This person is not going to be paying the money. Um, another person has got the contract. They are the one who should be paying the money. So I see, um, um, you Leo's some sort of a contract with a, a car. You try to pull it off and give it to someone else. And they're saying, no, 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 no. That's not the name of the person that is on the contract. Um, the Leo has to take the contract. So they're recognizing that, um, you know, young Leo's between the age of 18 and 45, some sort of a, um, on, um, on truths, um, because there it is coming out, some sort of on truths, and they're recognizing this. A balance is coming in because they recognize um, that a whole lot of money was taken by a Capricorn person. Um, this person is between the age of 18 and 45. And Julia is between the age of 18 and 45 is dealing with a Capricorn person and a whole lot of corruption and lie and justice is not in your favor. Justice is reversed if you recognize that. And uh, they are recognizing that a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion have paid you a lot of money and it is the money was not yours and you took the money on the false pretend and now they're recognizing this and coming down on you, Leo. So, so there is going to be some sort of a, uh, legal issues with you, Leos, and also for a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person between the age of 18 and 45 because they recognize and they're coming at this person because they recognize that you, Leos, were connected to this person. So um, Monday, it is going to be a judgment called Tuesday. Um, people are going to be recognizing that this uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman um had some money could have left for her children and you Leo's uh, together with this uh, um, Taurus Virgo or Pis Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have took the money and now they're recognizing and looking at uh, what has transpired what had happened and is seeing the truth of a situation that was horrible played out wrongly they're recognizing that you, Leo's between the age of 18 and 45, have not been speaking the truth and have money um, that was uh, um, money that was given for a car. And you, Leo's took the money and it was not yours. So um, um, justice is really standing up in um, this week and is going to be bringing forward some sort of a change. Um, because whatever the change is and whatever is transpiring, justice is recognizing that a whole lot of uh, information was false from you, Leos. Whatever that was transpiring, whatever that was happening, they're recognizing that a whole lot of information from you, Leos, was, not, was false. And what you, Leos, had said um, was not correct. It was uh, There was some sort of a loophole. They're going to be recognizing a cancer woman the connection between you, Leo's between the ages of 18 and 45 and a cancer woman. And they're going to be um, really using the swords of truth in order to investigate a group of people um, that has something to do with an auto dealership. And they're going to be looking at this uh, person who owns an auto dealership and is recognizing who this person is and what is transpiring and uh, how this person had created some sort of a um dishonest play in order for a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um 
to get their information or to work with them so some sort of uh, information could came out and it's all about money because they're going to be recognizing that the auto dealer whoever this auto dealer is has paid a lot of money to give you um aries lee or sagittarius some sort of a um documentation so that you could have a car and i see that some of you were using someone else's name and try to play put uh, the costs of the um the payments on that person and they're going to be recognizing it um for the people um 45 years and older um what we recognize here is that some sort of a money could be coming in um a lot of you are going to be overcoming some sort of a collaboration that a cancer have created against you. I see some sort of a new contract for, um, some sort of a new contract could be coming in, um, this new contract um, for a car, but I see a, um, a, a water sign person um, contract could be, um, it is as if there is some sort of a contract over a car, a vehicle, um, some sort of a transportation uh, modalities, and they're recognizing that you, Leos, have not been honest. So, so I see a lot of you, Leos, want to move forward. All the Leos, this is going to be a good week um, um, for the older Leos, but for the Leos between the age of 18 and 45, you're going to be dealing with some issue. All the Leos who is having um, health problems or going through things unexpected, luck is going to be coming in. So all the Leos between the ages of 45 years and older, some sort of unexpected help is going to be coming in for you. Then the energy of the tree is about health issue. Some of you were dealing with some sort of a health issue. Transition is going to be coming up um, with these health issue, whatever that is happening and transpiring. So what we're looking at now is that the Queen of Cups, uh, um, they're going to be recognizing that the Queen of Cups uh, had money um, and you Aries, young Aries, Leo or Sagittarius have took the money. So this energy could be you Leo, so, um, between the age of 18 and 45 or a young Aries, Leo or Sagittarius has took the money. So they're recognizing that a cancer woman, whoever this cancer woman is, a judgment call is coming down on a cancer woman because they recognize that a cancer woman was involved and got money um, from a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in order to receive some sort of information. And now they recognize it. I see um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn have to pay back a whole lot of money. And I see justice came up on you young Leos between the age of 18 and 45. So it could be a situation that some of you were in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. And they're recognizing that you, Leo, got a lot of money from this person in order to create some sort of a business. And to give you a, um, a new start. And um, they're going to be recognizing that you, Leos, did not speak the truth. Because they have had you, Leo, if you had money from this uh, um, earth sign person and you, Leo, said no. And now they're recognizing that this earth sign person gave you a lot of money in order to have a new start in a business. And they're going to be recognizing this. So a lot is happening. A lot is transpiring. And you have to make some sort of a decision Leo, in this week in order to move forward. Let me know how it goes. Show your love by thumbs up and I speak to you next week. Welcome Sagittarius. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's look and see what's coming up. This is the fourth week. The week begins from the 25th until the 31st. All right, Sagittarius, I see a lot of worries that is happening and transpiring here for you, Sagittarius. I see the energy of the bear. A lot of you are dealing with um, your parents in this week. Some of you are dealing with um, manager, supervisor, people in authority. Um, so be aware of this. Okay. So a lot of, uh, um, it's, 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 it's as if, um, thinking about what you have done, um, you know, worrying about uh, something of the past 
Um, I see um, something else is going to be offered to you. Some of you are dealing with parents issue in this week and some of you are dealing with your boss or people in authority. As you leave the week, some sort of a new contract could be coming in, but this is more of a marriage proposal, okay? Some of you, this is a marriage proposal. I see um, someone you have been seeing is going to be, um, is either buying the ring or is looking at the ring. Um, I see some sort of a marriage proposal where this person wants to propose and marry to you, okay? Um, it's not going to be such a fast moving week. You have uh, uh, two major arcanas and that means there's some sort of a significant changes is going to be coming up in this week. Um, we see you women are dealing with friends and open for some sort of a new start with a friend. There is no communication from this friend. Um, you hope to hear it from this person. So it could be um, a male person you have been seeing. You haven't seen them for a while or um, you're hoping to see this person. You are thinking about traveling. Um, you want to reconnect with this person. While this person is thinking that they are going to be, um, you know, if you're traveling to see them in Valentine's, they're going to be proposing to you. Um, so, um, this reading is going from January into the week of Valentine's. So I expect that some of you ladies are going to be proposed to. I see some sort of a new contract is coming up for a man and some sort of a new proposal. Okay. The energy of the sun is here. The ace of cups is here. So I see love is coming in and the energy of the world. So I see some sort of a cycle is going to be coming over and some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a new start. You ladies are dealing with a lot of friends and uh, I see um, you are you ladies are really hoping um, to repair some sort of a situation, to repair some sort of a relationship. Um, and you want to express yourself, but it's as if uh, um, pride sits in the way. Um, the energy of the sun is as if whenever the sun is in reverse or or upright, when it's in reverse, it's showing up some sort of information about friends and the end is going to be coming in. So be aware. So um, the energy of the sun is uh, um, really about, uh, you know, showing up uh, things that was not uh, um, people were not aware of and uh, recognizing that and people are going to be reconnecting, um, understanding what has been going on. So the energy of the sun, double, double, double sun, double, double sun. So uh, Sagittarian, this is going to be a good week, double sun. Whatever the virus is and was, you have double sun. Love is going to be offered to some of you Sagittarian women. Um, this is good. Um, some of you are walking away from a boss, a corporation. Um, I see your contract could be ending Sagittarian or some sort of an ending is coming in, but love is offered to you. Um, news, a lot of you are dealing with kids in this week. Some sort of a transition is coming up for your kids in this week. Again, some sort of a relationship, um, family situation. I see your partner. Some of you could have an ending for your work and your partner is helping you. Um, I see a whole lot of you are going to be overcoming some sort of a situation. So if you recognize this week is all about women, women um, 50 years and older, women 50 years and older. This week is all about you women 50 years and older. You can see the energy of that coming in. Men are coming up and I see um, whoever is in a relationship with uh, or your brother is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. I see some sort of a love is coming. They're recognizing that uh, um, you two are family or you two are um, husband and wife. They're recognizing that. A lot of you are standing your grounds and trying to protect yourself. A lot of you want a new offer and is standing your grounds and trying to protect yourself. A whole lot of love is going to be offered. And people are going to be recognizing what was going on and how some sort of a um, dishonest play 
um, that has transpired and people are going to be recognizing men are going to be finding out the truth um, about a younger child or a child um, that uh, uh, maybe had an adopted child or um, your wife child you're going to be recognizing I see you men are really looking back and recognizing that you really love your wife there's a whole lot of things that's going on and something is as if you men are recognizing that so the energy of the sun is going to be bringing out some sort of information about an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius person and some sort of a successful endeavor with friends um, you're going to be successfully overcoming some sort of a situation with family and friends. The week is showing up where I see um, a lot of men are going to be considering um, getting uh, engaged um, to someone you're, you're in a relationship with. Uh, that is definitely coming up. You women, some sort of an ending is coming up for you women ending, turning your back on a job or on your parents, some sort of an ending. And I see you're going to be choosing to um, show your partner more love. So if you're in a relationship with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Now, if you recognize this is about, for you Sagittarian, younger people, you don't have to worry. Younger people, you're recognizing who your friends are and you're going to be bringing some sort of a cycle to who your friends are but a lot of love is in this week and um a lot of love you men whatever is happening and transpiring you men are ending a cycle ending a cycle with a fire sign person another fire sign woman it's not showing up all this week is a week so they're recognizing the truth about a a Aries woman. Some sort of information is coming out about an Aries woman. And a lot of people is recognizing the truth of an Aries woman. And I see that some of you men are going to be ending some sort of a connection with an Aries woman. It, it, it is clear. Uh, friendship. I see a whole lot of young people. People between the ages of... Um, 10 uh, to 25 is going to be recognizing something about their friends and it's going to be ending a cycle. Whatever it is, I see you people are really standing, you young people are standing your ground about some sort of a situation with friends and recognizing what is transpiring. A lot of you are standing your ground and because you stood your ground, I see a lot of you could be receiving some sort of a new opportunity or it's not really opportunity. It is a new start with your friends. So this week is about the lovers for you guys. This week is about married people, couples, um, family members, mother and child. And I see love is going to be offered. Um, love is really going to be offered to a Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. I see you ladies are having some sort of an issue with your children. Um, whatever is happening and transpiring, a whole lot of issues. A lot of you ladies are having issues with your kids. I see a lot of love is coming in from your husband. I see some of you, um, a contract has ended and uh, whatever the situation is, is that uh, you're walking away. A lot of you, um, are going to be successful over a Pisces man, whoever the Pisces man is. You're going to be very, very successful over this Pisces man. So there was some sort of a some sort of a situation that was transpiring, and you're going to be very very successful over a Pisces man. Um, some of you ladies and your husband, um, you're having some of you ladies are having issues with your um, marriage and with uh, your kids. So a lot of you are having issues with your marriage and your kids. So you men are recognizing that uh, true love was by your um your your ex-wife that was where your true love is i think that 
um, a lot of you men is recognizing that your ex-wife was um, an honest, decent person and that your ex-wife had really um, true love for you and you're recognizing that. I see a lot of you men are really hoping to return um, to this relationship that you had with your ex-wife because you recognize that um, you could be with someone now and they have a lot of kids and the problems with the kids and that sort of a thing. Some of you men are recognizing, no, 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 um, no, that this is too much for me. It takes too much energy out of me. So a lot of you men are going to be receiving some sort of a new contract. A lot of you men are going to be thinking about um, engaging. A lot of men, of uh, you know, a lot of men who are opening for a new job opportunity is going to be coming up. Success is coming, and some of you ladies are going to be receiving some sort of a love. Endings are coming for you ladies with your job and uh, at work, some sort of a power struggle. Um, a cyclist coming to an end, and I see a new cyclist coming in for you men, especially men, and that is going to be good. A lot of you men who were looking for a job unexpectedly, some sort of an offer is going to be coming in. A lot of love is going to be pouring in. Um, it's like you Sagittarian, this week is a week of love for you. It's like a lot of love, a lot of affection, a lot of love is going to be pouring in. A lot of you recognize that you have created some sort of a false uh, um, something. And, uh, you know, it is the end that is coming up for you at work. But I see your family is going to be showing you love. So I see um, some of you, um, a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person is offering some of you older people love. And you're recognizing that this person is really um a wonderful person and um, this is not some of you is your child some of you is not your child some of you pretend as if this person was your child but it's not your child and i see the cycle is going to be over and you're going to be recognizing this then i see an end is coming in some sort of an end some sort of a resolution and an end is coming in i see the energy of the sun the energy of the sun has to do with some sort of a information came out about two person that they, this Aries Leo Sagittarius woman and an Aries Leo Sagittarius man is in love and has been in love. Um, they were married and they have been in love with each other for a long time. And some of you men are going to be feeling as if, hey, I don't need to have this really. You know, if you two want to be together, be together. I'm out of here. And I see you, some of you men have invested a lot in a relationship and is recognizing that this fire sign person, whoever this person is, is already in some sort of a relationship. They're going to be recognizing that an Aries Leo, a Sagittarius, a man and woman have some sort of a affair and was in love with each other. And people are going to be recognizing this and people are going to be um, recognizing that it could be um, your husband and his uh, partner and uh, or your husband and a secretary, but they're going, you're going to be recognizing that some of you men are leaving, um, I've left your wife and is on your own. You're going to be um, asking your assistant to marry you. Oh, um, yep. You're going to be asking your assistants to marry you. So a lot of you regret a situation. I see a lot of you are going to be offered something. You regret a situation and a lot of you are going to be offered something. And I recognize that. So um, what we notice is that a lot of you men, whatever is transpiring, a lot of you are thinking about getting engaged. A lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a new offer. I think this is one of the best love reading ever because this is just showing up people and they're recognizing 
that um a fire sign man and a fire sign woman an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius man and woman was in love and was married and in love and they're recognizing some sort of affair that was going on between these two people and they were lying all the time and friends are now recognizing that these two people were not being honest and they have been lying all the time because they have been in a long lasting relationship so i see um a lot of you women have some sort of an effect your marriage have some sort of an effect but it is in a positive way it's not it's nothing to worry about it's in a positive way i see um really um uh people in power came down on a pisces whoever the spices is and i see the spices um is offering love to some of you because the spices is as if uh, um the spices are between the age of 18 and 45 and the spices is as if um oh i want to really work this out um i'm trying to work this out and i want to really work this out okay and then i see um the energy of uh, um Whoever this fireside man is has been having an affair with another fireside person for a very long time. And I see all of this is going out and um, they're going to be recognizing some sort of a um, business arrangement that a fireside man had with a fireside woman. So it can be Aries Leo or Sagittarius and um, vice versa that they had some sort of a, an affair going on for a very, very long time. And people are going to be recognizing what these two had. So it's a very complex situation, but it is full of love. Um, it's a week if you want to make any changes. It's a yes week. Any questions that you'd like to be answered is a yes. Um, it is a very powerful yes week for you, Sagittarius. It is a beautiful week. You're coming in this week having some regrets, but then you're going to be leaving this week feeling very, very happy and complete. And this is going to be good. So wonderful, um, Sagittarian. Namaste. Until next week, show your love by thumbs up. And I speak to you next time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ophiosis, this is the fourth week in the year 2021. Week begins from the 18 until the 25th until the 31st i want to say um thank you for being here please remember to subscribe subscribe and thumbs up show your love all right so i see a whole lot of secrets is coming out about this um aquarium gemini or libran this is a young lady between the age of 18 and 45 whoever this person is a lot of secrets a lot of secrets this person had a whole lot of secrets and the people are now recognizing who this person is and the secrecy around this person. A lot of you, luck is going to be coming. A lot of you are going to be very lucky overcoming some sort of a deceptive play with this person. It could be a lawyer um, and some of you it could be a high professional, um, an accountant or a tax person or so. They're recognizing the dishonesty of this person and a whole lot of secrets about this person. A lot of you ophiosis, there is a fast, it's like fast luck in this week. Whatever is transpiring with your ophiosis is like fast luck. When these two are together, it's fast luck coming in, very fast luck. And if you notice, you're standing strong. And the only thing that is upright in your reading is uh, um, moving forward moving through some sort of a situation not um no clarity is here so um what you can recognize is now the blindfold is off because it's not upright clarity is here you're moving forward and um here the worries is over and you're letting go and moving forward and cutting out the bs out of your life and standing your ground so i do love this week for you guys um um some of you were trying um to help a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, and they recognized that this person was very deceptive. This person was not aware of certain um um the qualification of this person and 
This person was not aware of the basis of some sort of a situation. People are recognizing this and recognizing that this person was just placed in a job because of someone known, someone and of a family background. And now they're recognizing this. And I see you, Ophios, has really stood up against this person because this person tried to throw someone else under the bus. And you, Ophios, has really stood your ground and recognized. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. And I see the Wheel of Fortune is going to be getting you out of some sort of a hardship, some sort of a um, horrible position that you were placed in. Some sort of a healing is going to be transpiring and is going to be um releasing you from your worries so a lot of you um the sword energy and the sword energy has to do with now you're seeing clarity um a clarity about a um a taurus uh, about a aquarian gemini or a libra person you're now seeing clearly who this person is so i see help is going to be coming in to move you out of some sort of a hardship that some of you were going through and I see an healing is going to be coming through and I see protection is here and I see a whole lot of you are standing your ground and because you stand your ground um, you're protecting yourself and fast luck is going to be coming in then we see that some of you are finding out the truth about something that happened in the past and your worries is going to be over you showed up some sort of a unhealthy thing that was going on so you were worried whether or not you're going to be receiving some help. Yes, you're going to be receiving the help. The worries is going to be over at the end of the week. You're standing their ground and protecting you. And I see people are protecting you also without you even knowing. People are recognizing and finding out what, who does um, Aquarian Gemini. It's a Gemini person that a young Gemini woman had a lot of secrets uh, and uh, was very secretive about things and they're recognizing who this Gemini person is and I see that you will be protected from this Gemini person because they recognize who sent this Gemini person. You're going to be um, um, really celebrating and um, successfully overcoming some sort of a hardship that you were dealing with. Um, a judgment call is going to be coming down on... Um, a judgment call is coming in, let's see, and I see a lot of you, your project is going to be um, big because I see some of you were worried and um, people are going to be recognizing that this Gemini woman was very jealous of what you have because this Gemini woman was not... Uh, um or ex was not experienced as you were and didn't have the skill and knowledge but yet still this person was sitting in a higher position and were not uh, um, aware of uh, um, some sort of a rules and regulation and i see you took this down so they tried to come after you and your business and yep you took it down you took it down i told you and uh, um, the energy of the devil is now over because whoever these people are and this young Gemini woman thought that she was a cat's pajama. She came up in another reading and I see that they took down this negative play that was transpiring and I see your worries is going to be over. So a lot of you were dealing with a Gemini, whether it, this is coming up as a workplace or a Gemini who was jealous of what you have, a Gemini who is unskilled, unexperienced and was very, very jealous of what you had and was creating outside problems and as connected with your business. And I see a huge tower moment is coming down for this person because I see people in um, I. Uh, uh, I, uh, high ops is recognizing that this Gemini person as and is a lady is a young Gemini woman has been breeding steam and have nothing to power it okay and that is what has transpired a lot of you money um you are going to be standing your ground so that you get your money I see fast luck is going to be coming in especially with business because I see um, a judgment call is going to be coming down on a Taurus, whoever this Taurus is and whatever that was transpired. This Taurus has created a lot of issue. And I see they came in and took down a Taurus for some sort of a situation that he has done in the past. OK, um, some sort of a help is going to be coming in for some of you. Your project is being protected. You have no worries to 
uh, don't worry about this Gemini because I see a judgment call is coming down on this Gemini. They recognize that this woman had no skill and should not be in the position where she is. So, truth is now coming up and I see with the truth, I see judgment. It's as if you of Ophiosis are bringing down judgment and you Ophiosis are making sure that some money um, be paid out and return because you recognize that people were trying to block some sort of a project. There were people who were blocking some sort of a project. And I see you Ophiosis get to the bottom of it. I see a lot of you Ophiosis is working to help out other people in this week. It's as if some of you Ophiosis recognize the dishonesty and the dishonest play of other people. So I see judgment call is coming down on a Gemini. They recognize that this Gemini woman had some sort of a secret and was coming, um, coming for your project or coming for someone else's project because they have no skills and it's not as skill as the other person. And I see you are taking down this Gemini person, this young lady, um, cause she thought that she was just a cat pajama. And people are now recognizing and seeing the truth and you're going to be very, very successful. And I see that you, um, you Ophiosus is going to be making sure that the project or, or whatever you're protecting is going to be very, very successful because you recognize that there was secrets where people were blocking a project or blocking someone else's business, um, from going through. And I see that Aya Pilas is going to be coming in and removing the block and it's going to set this gem this Gemini person very straight. It is a woman. So a lot of you are dealing with a a Gemini woman who have a lot of secrets and people are not recognizing the secrets because and it's as if uh, you Ophiosa say don't go after um don't get involved in something that you're you were not supposed to be involved in. But, but Ophiosis, you got to recognize that this, you know, whenever people are like, oh, bam, 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 you know, I know everything and I know all a bit and it goes my way. No, you're not running. You're not running someone else's business. You can't overgone the, the, you know, someone else's, that, um, you know, grants. And that is what this person bring it back. This person bring it back, bring it back and said, listen, um, it's not happening here. So I see you, Ophiosis, is going to be making sure that someone is totally compensated for a situation. Um, you recognize that people were working to block some sort of a project. Okay, I see truths are coming out now. And a lot of people are celebrating because truths, truths are coming out. People are celebrating. I see the energy of the Wheel of Fortune where they're recognizing that someone um, business or project was blocked in the past and they're releasing this block. You can see all these people flying away and tower moments and the devil and people are flying away and, 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 and a judgment call is coming down um, on a Taurus. Because they recognize that a Taurus, um, a Taurus lawyer, judgment is coming down on the Taurus lawyer. Judgment is coming down on a corrupt Taurus. Um, and they're taking down a whole criminal network because they recognize how these people um, feed off other people. So I see protection is here for a project. The negative forces that was in this project, you're going to be successfully overcoming. Truths are coming out. The worries is going to be over because they're taking down um, some sort of a negative forces that was blocking you and blocking your business and blocking your project. And they're taking down these people and these situation. Expect um, a lot of money to come out. And I see you're standing your ground and protecting your money. And you're standing your ground and you're going to be recognizing um, that uh, um, you need basically um, to stand your ground against some sort of a un dishonest play that was transpiring. And people are going to be recognizing this. And I see fast success is going to be coming in for you, Ophiosus. So Ophiosus, bring down the judgment. 
you need to let people know where they are and how people stand by you. Um, bring down the judgment because this young lady has overgone her boundaries. I hope that is not your child because a lot of secrets. You're about to find out a lot of secrets about this person and what this person has done. So I really hope it's not your child because you're going to be in for some sort of a um, surprise of what this person. Um, when the clothes come out, some sort of unexpected money. So it's like fast money is going to be coming in fast. So let's say you had a business and there was outstanding bill. Money is going to be coming in fast. Let's say that you have a, um, you were waiting for some money and the money was taking long. All of a sudden, this money is going to be start pouring in. So the worries is going to be over, over a project that some of you were working on. Some of you were working on getting rid of some sort of a, um, um, problems that you were having. And you're going to be recognizing that someone has been blocking your project, blocking your business. And I see they're going to be protecting it. And it's bringing down, if you notice the energy of the devil, the energy of the devil is that people are recognizing what was happening and it's bringing down. So the devil energy and with the sword, this is the energy where a Gemini man, this looks like some sort of an investigator or some sort of a, these are like, uh, Geminis are like uh, investigators, um, but um, higher professional people. And especially when they're in the reverse, they decided, nope, this is coming down. Nope, this is coming down. So the energy of the devil, and this is why I say to a lot of people, and they need to rewrite these books. The, the devil is not a Capricorn. The devil is not a Capricorn. Again, a Capricorn have a goat head and a fish tail. The devil is not the Capricorn. The devil is outside forces that comes in to access and create dishonest negative things. Okay, that is the energy of the devil. So when a lot of people are like, yeah, and the Capricorn, Capricorn, your energy came in and it's the devil. No, it's not true. Not true, never been true. And that's not true. So, ladies and gentlemen, whoever um, is dealing with a Gemini young lady between the age of 18 and 45, you're going to be finding out a lot of secrets and how this lady is connected and why this lady um, connects with someone in order to create some sort of an issue and problem. And I see you're going to be taking it down because you're blowing the trumpet. You're blowing the trumpet. The tower is coming on this negative forces. And guess who is here to catch them? Another catch. Bam. Bam. So I see truth is going to be revealed. Truth is going to be revealed. Judgment is coming out. I see your project or whatever. You're going to be very successful. I got to go. Namaste. Show your likes by using the thumbs up and share, share, share.